G'day you beautiful people. Thank you for joining me for another bright and early 5.30 a.m. vlog, photographing one of the most iconic places in Wilpena Pound. Last night we were here photographing the beautiful Milky Way, the Southern Cross, and a little bit of a thunderstorm. It was absolutely epic, so make sure to drop back and watch that episode. But today I want to catch the iconic panoramic with a beautiful, beautiful vista of Wilpena Pound. So make sure to drop below and subscribe and let's get into this early morning vlog. A few key components when I'm getting set up this morning for the panoramic. We want to make sure our tripod is completely level. So when I'm going from left to right, we're getting a perfect image horizontally. Also, I'm going to go through and shoot with the X-T3 and 16 to 55. So I was here yesterday and worked out that is the perfect lens to hopefully get the perfect image. But it's not. I know it's not going to be, I'm going to have to come back, which is super annoying. But let's get this demo image in place. why the competition looks so bad. Haven't got my bloody glasses on. One second. Ah, we'll paint it. That's better. Bloody hell, can see a lot more. Right, panoramic sunrise, I want to cover a few aspects that are very, very critical. First one being a level tripod. That is a must. Spend as much time as you possibly can leveling these tripods. And especially, I love it with these new, te new technology that we've got. Just the Arca Swiss plate spins from this. That is why we designed this and I absolutely love this top plate. It makes life so much easier to do panoramics, which we're gonna find out today. And getting that nailing down would make better composition aspects because that leading line, if I was to shoot five images, it would be really sort of pushing it. Seven images across, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, will really warp the perspective of this lean line. So we want to be really careful and make sure our tripod is extremely, extremely level, especially if we've got things close in the foreground like we have today. The other thing is I would generally go through and shoot a white balance of automatic. Today we have to lock it down because one, conditions are changing so much as far as the sun's rising, it's changing that beautiful color. And also the scene from left to right, here it's more blue and here, on the right hand side, it is more of that warm color because the sun's coming through that way. So I wanna make sure our white balance is locked down so we get the same color temp all the way through. Also, the last thing is I always put an aperture priority, my camera, and I'll do an F8, 160 ISO, and let the shutter speed do its hurrah. We can't do that today because obviously we'll get a darker image to a brighter image. We wanna keep this side darker and that side brighter as it naturally is. So I will zoom up to get a single composition of the middle of the frame. And that is giving me one over 250. So I will shoot one over 250, one over 250, one over 250. You get what I'm trying to say, it's left to right all the same. So therefore locking down an F8, 160 ISO, one over 250 Kelvin temperature at say daylight, we're getting the same consistent parts of the composition of the photography nailed down from left to right. So I wanna go through now as the sun's rising, it's starting to get the color I want from left to right. Five images I'm gonna try and keep it to to see how it goes.
absolutely, truly remarkable. I've been sitting down for the last half an hour watching the sun rise over this ridiculous landscape. I'm trying to incorporate that so much into my photography lately. That's why I love having a camper van. You've got everything with you to enjoy the moment and capture the moment. Capture the moment by images to remember being in the moment in this beautiful landscape. That is what photography to me is really all about. I went through and got a five image pano vertically, as I said before, and I've gone through now and chucked it into landscape orientation. There's a reason for that. But before we get into that, here is this five stitch pano of a beautiful Razorback lookout in Wilpena Pound. So at the same location, the same composition, I flipped to landscape to try and get a single image. Because when I run a photography workshop at this location, you might get clients that have a telephoto but no wide angle or just a standard kit lens. You need to find different compositions that's going to cater for all the people. And also for me personally, I might like the single image composition better than stitching a pano. I highly doubt this location, but possibly to take it home on the computer and have a look. But it's the same composition with the leading line going all the way into the beautiful painter in the background, but just a single composition. Now I have to come back to this location for sure because I want this image hanging on people's walls. This is the most iconic viewpoint in Wilpeter Pound itself. I want that cloud, I want that beautiful sunrise conditions. I want those mountains in the background of Wilpeter itself to be a little bit clearer. So after fresh rain, maybe, wherever it is, I'll be back to this location probably 20 times in the next couple of years to get the masterful image of this location. But today it was about location scale for different clients, seeing what I like, what I don't like, I might like it over there better, whatever it is. That is why having a camp van is so good, I can come back at any point of time. So here is this single landscape orientation. And let me know in the comments below, what do you personally like better? I could so get used to this camper van life. Well, I'm gonna get used to it because I'm gonna spend a lot of bloody time in that camper. Almost three weeks coming up on this trip in the camper, and I'm still loving it every day. I was here yesterday morning for basically five or six hours just looking at compositions, getting things nailed down, and it was completely crazy conditions. It rained a little bit yesterday, it was howling wind, but having that camper van allow me just to sit in the back and soak it all in. The ugly, the beauty, the camper van provides what I need for a landscape photographer and that is what I love. And I was also here last night once again photographing the Milky Way but also captured this beautiful image of sunset at this location completely differently for all the postcards that you'd see from this location. So many diverse images from this beautiful location, but that one golden nugget, that exclusive sunrise from this one location of Asia. With that camper van, I'll be back to catch that image in the near future. But guys, now we're gonna start heading out of this gorge to a 590 million, yes, million year old gorge to photograph. So we've got some panoramic photography to shoot, an old hut with a Milky Way, an incredible viewpoint to top all this series off, looking back over this wonderful, wonderful place of Alpena Pound. So on that note, get out there, keep creating, keep inspiring, drop below and subscribe because there's still plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.